Hi everyone, I'm Robin Leong, author of The Kung Fu Force and The Tower of Doom. Uh, today, I'll be answering all of the questions that you sent in. And also, uh, we're giving the person with the best question a special promo discount. So make sure that you watch until the end to find out if you're the one. And here's the first. Uh, did you enjoy playing Inspector Sean Han on Triple Nine? Uh, seasons three and four were absolutely ambitious. Uh, yes, I had a great time playing Sean Han. Uh, the writers on the show wrote some uh, very heavy episodes that were very ambitious indeed. But, you know, I just had a great time working with everyone on the show, uh, and I had a blast. Let's go to the second question. The uh, second question is, uh, which character did you enjoy playing the most during your acting career? Well, I think uh, most of you probably think it's Inspector Sean Han. Uh, that's a close second, but my favorite character um, I enjoyed playing the most was Bernard from Three Rooms. Now, if you can remember that show, that was the sitcom from 1997, and um, the, the writers wrote some fantastic scenes of Bernard getting used to the lifestyle uh, in Singapore, and it really mirrored my own personal experiences uh, when I arrived um, in 1997, so... Uh, that that definitely was my favorite character to play because it was just a lot of fun and um, it was just really fun in games on the set. Okay, let's go to question number three. Um, why did you decide to write children's books? Uh, very good question. Well, um, I wanted to do a project that uh, could inspire and entertain my children. So I, I wanted them to experience and give them a glimpse of the creative process of bookmaking. So they became my test audience and it worked out great because they gave me uh, great feedback, honest feedback, and it worked out well because uh, the whole process uh, became a team effort, and um, I was just very, very happy uh, to be able to do this project with them. All right, let's go to question number four. I grew up watching kung fu movies with my dad. What do you think makes a good kung fu story? Uh, well, there has to be love, uh, betrayal, righteousness, and probably a lot of uh, necessary and unnecessary action. That's a good story. Next question from James Lynn. He asks, how did you come up with the idea for your book? Hi, James. Uh, initially, the idea was to uh, have a, a young kids as the main characters. But upon consultation with my uh, book gurus, um, Lucas and Brady, uh, the consensus was that the heroes would be coolest if they were little pets who could save the world. So, had to go with their idea. Uh, the next question asks, what is your favorite kung fu movie and are there any particular scenes that you especially like? Well, I have a lot of favorite kung fu movies, but my all-time favorite, actually hands down, is Enter the Dragon. Uh, now, what a lot of you uh, probably don't know is that the actor who played the villain in the movie, uh, Han, uh, was actually my godfather. Uh, but be besides that, uh, Enter the Dragon uh, was perfectly shot uh, with the most amazing fight choreography and probably the best ever in cinematic history. Uh, that's in my opinion. So Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee, uh, the best. All right, let's go to the next question, and that is, which is your favorite kung fu move? How about the art of fighting without fighting? Also a great line from Enter the Dragon. Um, well, probably my all-time favorite move uh, from my fighting days would probably have to be the spinning back fist. The spinning back fist. Uh, either hand spinning to the right or the left with full force using all your hip movement and power, and getting somebody right across the face um, was uh, pretty satisfying. So that was probably my favorite move. Okay, just a few more questions to go. Uh, this one asks, what's your favorite children's book? Well, I have to say um, it's probably the Dr. Seuss books. Um, I grew up reading them, uh, loving them, and just uh, enjoying the unforgettable artwork. Okay, next question. Among your co-stars, who did you enjoy working with the most? That's a tough question because I worked with some great people over the years. Uh, but I would have to say that I probably enjoyed working with Dr. Sue from Triple Nine the most. Dr. Sue. You're probably wondering, who's Dr. Sue? If you don't remember, he was the forensic pathologist 
who always made inappropriate comments and jokes during our interactions. Um, he was just hilarious to work with, and that was just a lot of fun. It brings back great memories. And I remember I, I always look forward to doing those scenes on the set of Triple Nine. So, Dr. Sue. Just a couple more questions to go, and here's the next. Um, hello, Robin. When were you first inspired to write this title, and did you have to overcome any challenges to successfully publish it? And uh, please share how you Kung Fu fought the challenges. Okay, great question. Um, when my first son was born, um, he loved it when I read to him. So in my head, I was already thinking about doing a children's book series uh, because I knew it would inspire him a lot. Um, that I knew for sure. Now, as far as any challenges, well, as with anything in life, um, I feel that challenges have to be met head on and, and dealt with decisively to ensure your path to victory. So those are my words of wisdom to you. And the last question comes from at Lulu Not Lou. Uh, Lulu Not Lou asks, uh, Hi Robin, what is the one thing that you will tell your younger self to do or avoid doing? Well, I, I, I would just keep it simple and tell myself, don't waste your time just thinking about your dreams. Go out and do it and make it happen. Confidence is key. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, the best question asked goes to two people. Uh, at GH, hello, Chloe, and at James Lynn. Congratulations to you both. Um, I really liked both of the questions. Um, the first question about what my favorite Kung Fu move was because it really brought back a lot of great memories of my fighting days. And the question about uh, how I came up with the idea, I, I really like that question because I, I enjoy sharing that process with all my fans. So thanks again for asking. Congratulations to you both. Well, that's it for this session of Ask Authors Anything. Uh, should you have any further questions for me, uh, do drop a note to Epigram Books as an Instagram or Facebook page. Thanks again for all your questions and support, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.